Today, we will talk about how to get cheap car insurance. Let's have a look at the details. Whether you are shopping for auto insurance for the first time or trying to get insurance to reinstate your license, you want to get the best coverage for the cheapest rate. The first step is understand the factors that may affect the cost of your insurance. Age, gender, marital status, driving record, vehicle type and model, previous claims, where you live, how often and how far you drive, and sometimes your credit score can all have an effect on how much you pay for car insurance. Talk to different agents and research how these variables will influence your premium. The second step is research car insurance companies. Research the different insurance companies to make sure they are reliable and effective. Even if a company offers the lowest premium, don't purchase that policy if you think they are untrustworthy. The third step is get car insurance quotes. You can shop for car insurance online or in person. Many insurance companies offer free rate quotes online. But if you want to be able to speak to someone who can answer your questions, go to an agent or broker. A broker, or independent agent, works with different companies and can help you to compare quotes. The fourth step is compare auto insurance quotes. Don't focus solely on the bottom line expense. Compare quotes to see which company offers you the highest coverage limits for the best price. Finally, compare discounts. Some companies offer discounts which expire after a certain amount of time. The fifth step is choose higher deductibles. The deductible is the amount you have to pay towards any necessary repairs to your vehicle before your insurance kicks in. The lower of a deductible you want to pay, the larger your insurance premiums will be. If you want to reduce your auto insurance costs, consider opting for larger deductibles. The sixth step is purchase the minimum medical coverage. Your insurance policy may offer coverage for personal injury protection and medical expenses. However, if you have health insurance, you may not need to purchase this coverage. The seventh step is opt for a lower risk vehicle. Some vehicles are more likely to either be in an accident or be stolen. If you own such a vehicle, you can expect to pay higher insurance premiums. The eighth step is ask for discounts. You may qualify for discounts of which you may not be aware. For example, if you are over 50 or 55 years of age and have a clean driving record, you may qualify for a discount. Ask your provider about these discounts. The ninth step is purchase the minimum required coverage. You may not need to purchase full collision and or comprehensive coverage. Depending on the age of your car and its market value, it may not be worth it to pay for the most expensive, comprehensive coverage. Before you opt out of this coverage, check with your auto loan provider. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.